In the Stargate Orion, there is a star that has enchanted cosmologists for a truly expanded time span. This red, staggeringly enormous star is much more noticeable and tremendous than our sun. In recent years, Betelgeuse has been acting particularly strangely. It has diminished significantly and has even started to vibrate mercilessly. This has prompted speculations that this once extreme star is pushing toward a bombastic effect. However, how possible is it that we are truly seeing the start of a more interesting and disturbing event? Think about the probability that Betelgeuse will not explode. Instead, it might collapse on itself. Join us as we explore the latest assessments on Betelgeuse and its logical repercussions for our planet. Through this assessment, we aim to appreciate the fundamental effect Betelgeuse's breakdown could have on the fate of the universe. The advantaged mysteries of Betelgeuse, a vast star, are on various occasions more noticeable than our sun and are among the universe's largest. However, its size comes at a cost. Stars like this have limited lifespans, and Betelgeuse is no exception. It's a ticking delayed bomb, ready to explode, though the particular moment remains a mystery. Located around 650 light years away, Betelgeuse has bewildered cosmologists, shining as one of our closest stars. We marvel at its wonder, attempting to disentangle the mystery secret within its burning depths. However, only 13.3% of its splendid energy is visible to us. If we could see its full magnificence, it would eclipse even Sirius in the night sky. Imagine a titanic star with a reach normally that of our Sun, stretching out past the asteroid belt and essentially touching Jupiter. Within this titanic district, Earth, Mars, Mercury, and Venus would be inundated by Betelgeuse's monstrous gravitational pull. The surprises don't end there. Every couple of hundred years, Betelgeuse sheds a solar mass, pushing off its outer layers in a brilliant display of enormous magnificence. A cloud, normally larger than the actual star, envelopes Betelgeuse, covering it in an ethereal fog that catches our gaze. This cloud, extending 30 light years, invites us into an incredible self-important dance, persuading us to reveal its privileged secrets. The center of the star, where the atomic fusion of hydrogen creates helium in a colossal effect over time, sees the star's hydrogen fuel decrease, triggering a profound transformation. As helium meets carbon, it produces brilliance that travels through the universe. However, even this brilliant combination has its limits. As neon combines with iron, a huge change happens. The star's gravity, debilitated by the lack of energy, sets off an approaching collapse, pushing Betelgeuse toward a destiny that is both staggering and deplorable. An immense supernova. The fate of Betelgeuse undergoes a spellbinding change, advancing from the fiery blues of youth to the impacting reds of advancement. During the second century BC, Chinese stargazers noticed an extraordinary visible cork. Betelgeuse's specific yellow shade set it aside from the heavenly weavings of the sky. As the centuries unfurled, the bar of perception passed to Greek and Roman cosmologists. For instance, Timaeus in the second century AD, in his detailed records, described Betelgeuse as having an orangish or tanned appearance, a trademark that still captivates us today. This persistent tone, noted across different cultures and ancient witnesses, adds to the intrigue surrounding Betelgeuse. Another turn in the story, the tale of Betelgeuse, takes another curve as we dive further into its erratic behavior. In 2019, the star stunned examiners by startlingly darkening. Researchers initially believed that a gigantic dust storm released from the star's surface had obscured our view. However, the origin of the cloud remains unclear. Some scientists speculate that a massive object, like a planet, could have upset the star's surface or even been consumed by it. Recently, Betelgeuse has turned out to be twice as bright as its generally expected luminosity. This is astonishing since stars typically faint as they age. Experts are dubious about the reason for this sudden increase in brightness, but they do know that stellar radiance can fluctuate due to various factors. For example, some stars go through cycles of bright and faint stages. Betelgeuse is classified as a variable star because it changes in brightness, expanding and contracting consistently, which modifies how much light it emits. This is a typical occurrence with many stars, 
including Aldebaran and around 30 other stars visible in the night sky without a telescope. A limitless impact inside Betelgeuse's center has been happening, with the removal of stellar material into space, creating a massive dust haze of enormous extent. This dust cloud obscured a significant portion of Betelgeuse's brilliant light, changing it from a stunning signal to a reduced star in the night sky. Betelgeuse's brilliance dropped to levels previously unfathomable. Once thought to be among the top 10 most brilliant stars, it now ranks lower than 20th. In recent months, Betelgeuse's leadership has amazed space specialists, testing the standards of stellar theories. Speculations increase, attempting to unravel the mystery of Betelgeuse's whimsical behavior. Some suspect that giant sunspots or dust mists are responsible for its dramatic fluctuations, while others investigate the possibility of repeating patterns. Their research has uncovered the troubling possibility that Betelgeuse's supernova explosion could have already occurred. Yes, you heard that right. While past estimates projected its enormous explosion event to be hundreds of years away, current evidence now suggests an alternative story. The ramifications of a cosmic explosion could be significant. The last significant cosmic event in our galaxy, the Kepler supernova explosion, graced the sky ages ago. Experts have proposed a model that suggests Betelgeuse's late periods of carbon consumption indicate it may be drawing closer to a critical explosion. This positions it as a strong candidate for the next anticipated cosmic explosion in our Milky Way. Like a grand finale in a stellar orchestra, Betelgeuse remains a prominent candidate for the next supernova explosion in our esteemed Milky Way galaxy. However, focusing on Betelgeuse is like solving a puzzle with conflicting perceptions. There are signs of material releases and ensuing recovery, leaning toward a mass delivery event, but on a more limited scale compared to our Sun. Observational challenges and supernova visibility complicate the matter. The difficulty lies in the ongoing inability to observe Betelgeuse with precision. Specialists have been studying Betelgeuse for quite some time and have found that its brightness has fluctuated over time. This suggests that the star is aging and could go supernova soon. However, there isn't enough proof to predict exactly when this will happen. A supernova explosion is an incredibly brilliant event that occurs when a star dies. It's not damaging to life on Earth and is safe to observe from our planet with the naked eye. Understanding Betelgeuse's role in galactic evolution is crucial. Betelgeuse, a red supergiant in the Orion constellation, plays a vital role in the life cycle of stars within our galaxy. Its evolution offers a window into the fate of other massive stars, providing essential insights into the final stages of stellar life and the impact of supernovae on cosmic conditions. To understand Betelgeuse's significance, we need to delve deeper into its stellar architecture, life cycle, and the broader implications of its potential explosion. Stellar development and supergiant stars. Betelgeuse, a red supergiant, is the result of the later stages of stellar development. Unlike smaller stars, which consume their hydrogen fuel more slowly and enter a red giant stage, massive stars like Betelgeuse burn their nuclear fuel at an accelerated rate. This rapid consumption leads to the expansion of the star's outer layers and the development of a supergiant. The core of Betelgeuse fundamentally contains helium and heavier elements like carbon and oxygen. As the hydrogen in the core is depleted, fusion reactions begin to occur in the outer layers, causing the star to grow. This process is governed by the complex exchange of gravitational forces and radiation pressure, which ultimately leads to the star reaching its supergiant stage. The fusion process at the center of Betelgeuse continues to drive its brilliance and size. Initially, hydrogen fuses into helium in a series of reactions that release enormous amounts of energy. As hydrogen is depleted, the core contracts under gravity, raising temperature and pressure. This allows helium to fuse into heavier elements like carbon and oxygen. Betelgeuse's outer layers expand drastically during this stage, resulting in its massive size and characteristic red color. In supergiants like Betelgeuse, this process is more complicated due to the star's high mass. The core undergoes several fusion stages, creating a series of concentric shells where different elements are fused. Each stage of fusion alters the core structure and energy output, affecting the star's dynamic behavior and potential instability. The supernova process, when Betelgeuse exhausts its nuclear fuel, 
it will no longer have the energy to balance the gravitational pull of its own mass. This leads to a dramatic collapse of the core, triggering a supernova explosion. The supernova process involves a series of rapid events. First, core collapse occurs without enough pressure from fusion reactions. The core succumbs to its own gravity, and this collapse happens at an astonishing rate, compacting the core into a neutron star or possibly a black hole, depending on its mass. Second, shock wave development. The collapse generates a massive shock wave that travels outward through the star's outer layers. This shock wave heats the surrounding material, causing it to detonate in a brilliant ejection of light and energy. Third, ejection of outer layers. The star's outer layers are expelled into space, enriching the surrounding interstellar medium with heavy elements. This material contributes to the formation of new stars and planetary systems, continuing the cycle of stellar evolution. Betelgeuse's impact on its cosmic neighborhood. The explosion of a supergiant like Betelgeuse has profound consequences for its environment. The ejected materials from a supernova can impact the formation of new stars and planetary systems. The shock waves from the explosion can trigger the collapse of nearby molecular clouds, leading to the birth of new stars. Additionally, the heavy elements produced in Betelgeuse's core and ejected during the supernova contribute to the chemical evolution of the universe. These elements are essential for the formation of planets and the development of life. As such, Betelgeuse's life cycle plays a vital role in shaping the chemical makeup and structure of our galaxy Betelgeuse one of the most studied stars in our galaxy, continues to intrigue astronomers with its erratic behavior and impending fate. As a red supergiant, it represents one of the final stages in the life of a massive star, and its potential to explode in a supernova is both a cosmic spectacle and an opportunity to learn more about the universe. One of the key reasons Betelgeuse's eventual explosion is so significant is because it holds the potential to shape the future of the surrounding stellar neighborhood. Supernovae, such as the one that could result from Betelgeuse's demise, are vital to the life cycle of the universe, recycling heavy elements and giving birth to new stars and planetary systems. The heavy elements produced in the core of stars like Betelgeuse, elements like iron, nickel, and even heavier metals, are released into the interstellar medium during the explosion. These elements are crucial for the formation of planets, including Earth-like planets that may harbor life. The death of one star, then, indirectly facilitates the creation of future stars and planets, ensuring the continuation of the stellar cycle. In this sense, the supernova explosion of Betelgeuse could have profound implications on the formation of future solar systems, potentially influencing the course of galactic evolution for millions of years to come. Beyond the immediate physical effects of its explosion, Betelgeuse also presents a unique opportunity to study the life cycle of massive stars in greater detail. Scientists have made significant advancements in understanding the mechanisms behind supernovae by closely observing stars like Betelgeuse. The precise conditions that lead to a star's collapse into a supernova are still not entirely understood. However, by continuing to monitor Betelgeuse, astronomers hope to glean more information about how these massive stars evolve and the types of signals they give off before their ultimate demise. Such insights can help refine models of stellar evolution which in turn improves our understanding of the broader universe. Another fascinating aspect of Betelgeuse's behavior is its periodicity. As a variable star, Betelgeuse fluctuates in brightness, and these changes are not fully understood. Variable stars are typically categorized into different types based on the nature of their fluctuations. Some stars undergo regular, predictable cycles, while others, like Betelgeuse, seem to fluctuate in more erratic patterns. The mystery surrounding Betelgeuse's sudden brightening and dimming could be a key to understanding more about how stars evolve at the end of their life. If this irregularity is linked to the buildup of material on the star's surface or the dynamics of its inner core, it could provide important clues as to how massive stars eventually succumb to gravitational collapse. In addition to its variable nature, Betelgeuse is also an important example of a star that is located relatively close to Earth in astronomical terms. At a distance of about 650 light years, it offers astronomers an invaluable opportunity to study the characteristics of a red supergiant in much more detail than stars farther away. The proximity of Betelgeuse means that even subtle changes in its brightness and structure can be observed with current technology, 
making it a key star in studies of stellar evolution and supernova formation. The star's enormous size further amplifies its significance. As one of the largest stars visible to the naked eye, Betelgeuse is a perfect example of what happens when a star burns through its hydrogen fuel at an accelerated rate. Its colossal mass, which is about 10 to 20 times that of our sun, results in extreme conditions at its core. The immense pressure and heat required to sustain fusion at these mass scales accelerate the process of stellar aging, causing the star to expand and enter its red supergiant phase much more quickly than lower mass stars like our sun. As the hydrogen is depleted, the star transitions into a phase where fusion of heavier elements like helium, carbon, and oxygen begins, further contributing to its size and instability. The red color of Betelgeuse, which comes from its cooler surface temperature relative to younger, hotter stars, is another fascinating feature that has caught the attention of astronomers for centuries. Its size and reddish hue, observable even to the naked eye, have led to its central place in many historical observations of the night sky. In ancient times, civilizations like the Greeks and Romans recorded its reddish appearance, and it became a part of many early stargazing records. This deep connection to human history further emphasizes how Betelgeuse has been a constant, though mysterious, presence in our understanding of the cosmos. As Betelgeuse moves toward its eventual end, its fate will not only provide astronomers with insights into the dynamics of supernova explosions, but also help us understand the broader forces shaping our galaxy. Whether or not Betelgeuse explodes in the near future, the study of its complex behavior will continue to inspire new generations of astronomers to look deeper into the heavens and unravel the mysteries of stellar life cycles. In the end, Betelgeuse's eventual supernova will not just mark the death of a star, but the continuation of the cosmic cycle scattering elements that will help form new stars, planets, and perhaps even new forms of life.